What up, y'all? My camera is all kinds of dirty. I'm sorry. It's raining out there. It's raining. Why am I gonna? Why am I? Why am I giving you back to back days of videos of ranting like as if I'm feeling like it's a new year, same me, but better dedication. Rain on my nose. Sorry. Because it's the truth. I'm sad to report. Seeing that, you know, right now I'm the only person paying attention to the stuff going on in Antelope Valley. Right here, I'm on 45th Street West and N8 in Quartz Hill. Right down the street. Right down the street. Three kids, three not kids, I'm sorry, three men were found dead in their cars. Two cars, four, four men. Three dead, one critically injured. They haven't gotten uh, an update on where or how his uh, conditions are improving or if he's passed away. But last night around like 11.15, they have no leads as to who's the shooters, why, uh, what the affiliation was, anything like that. They just got, um, there was reports of gunshots, you know, so the cops came out to check it out. And that's what they found. Two cars, four guys, three dead. Yeah, yesterday I'm talking about the, the government shutdown, and I'm talking about how, um, you know, everybody is going to be a little bit more stressed out. Um, it was even reported that, um, you know, our president is requiring all of our federal employees to go back to work. What's funny, though, not funny, it's just kind of messed up. I'm a big Jay-Z fan, big Rockefeller fan, love hip-hop. Um, I don't really like everything that Kanye West has been saying. I don't really care about his political views. I just like his music. I love Hey Mama because when I think about that song and I sing that song, it's about me and my mama. But uh, Kanye West said that slavery was a choice. And everybody said he was a fool. And they said all these different things about how could you say something like that? Like, who do you think you are? You know, back then they didn't have a choice. And that's true. But what happens now? What happens right now as we're speaking? The people who are uh, working for the federal government who are supposed to go back to work, but they know they're not going to get paid. It doesn't matter their nationality. Aren't they considered slaves? Won't they be going to work to do a job and not be compensated for it? And then to add to it, we don't have that many federal jobs out here in Amlo Valley. So instead of everyone looking at that national stuff as being something of importance, they're going to look at this uh, murder last night and go, well, is this the purge? Is everybody going to start breaking the laws and not do what they're supposed to be doing? And the answer I have for you kids and adults, if you're watching, is no. They're not going to act stupid, and the purge is not going to actually happen. But that's if you're not an idiot. I mean, if you're focused, if you have a goal in place, if you have dreams and aspirations... If you have a plan, but if you're lost right now, you better get ready because um, some people are acting stupid. I know I'm not, but I just want to make sure I give everybody that I care about, especially the AV kids, the best opportunity to be successful and to be safe, seeing that I'm the only person, I guess, from the Antelope Valley or in the Antelope Valley that gives the rats. I don't care what area code you're from. I don't care how much you rep it. Hardly home, but always repping. That's not the truth when it comes to the Antelope Valley. If you're in it, you're in it to win it. If you're not, you don't give it. You don't care about it. So it's Thursday. I'm not dressed for success because it's raining, but I will be for work later on. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe.